All right, welcome to the train room, everyone. It's G here with G's O Scale Trains. I'm just coming right down in, a little layout update for you guys. So a couple things uh, I started touching on last time. Thought I'd expand on this time. Um, I guess the first thing is you can see, I've got four pieces of plywood here with my upper loops. So there's the lower loops down there, the upper loops. And uh, I'm going with an 072 curve on the outside, then 060 on the inside. Um, it's going to lead to two MTH arch bridges. I was originally going to use the one bridge right here, but this is going to be my uh, lift out or lift up section. So I'm actually probably not going to use an arch there. I'm just going to do like a girder style bridging there. And again, leading over here, same idea. So I'm just kind of playing with the, uh, the curves. See, I've got the big boy there and I've got some nice scale rolling stock. So I'm just seeing how close I can get that. I still have it work. And then I've got the uh, rotary coal dump. So this here is all gonna be obviously just gonna get cut out and then that's going to drop down to the level below um, so I'm just working out all of that so basically the uh, the coal trains will be able to run straight through on this track here and uh, and then into the rotary coal dump they'll dump and I'm going to have the 397 there in the bottom to be able to dump that coal onto trains on the lower level and then going over to the other corner over there, um, you can see I've been quite generous with what I've left there. Um, the reason being that uh, I'm gonna cut, do some cutting out there, but I, I'm gonna build a mountain and some tunnels there. So I wasn't sure exactly how that was gonna play out. So I will be doing some cutting there. And then to the other corner. Now, a couple things I didn't really get too detailed on last time is these shelves. I had a few questions on them, so I just wanted to show you guys what I meant. So this is actually a, a 1x4 MDF. It's a trim. It has four grooves in it. Now, what you'll notice is that these two grooves here, you can actually put your cars in either one. I put them closer to the wall, um, just for so the weight is closer to uh, to the L brackets, and uh, but you could definitely move them out further if you needed to. Um, but they're perfectly spaced for O gauge trains, and I found those at my local um, my local hardware store, and I believe it's a brand that's all over North America. So you should be able to find something if you want to do something similar. Um, I'm pretty happy with how they all turned out and like I said before they're holding the weight well of the locomotives here um, I've got a whole wall of locomotives and there's not been any sign of any problems a um, couple things I picked up as well this here is a dummy unit for the a unit there um, so that was a recent find and Picked up these Husky stacks here. This, we had a local train swap on the weekend. So I sold an item and I bought an item. You know how that goes. So I was pretty happy with that. And the other thing is custom painted set. I believe these are Boston and Maine originally. Um, they're MTH and uh, really, really detailed. And someone did a really nice Canadian Pacific custom paint job on them. Um, I really like the green. I guess I think those are called transom windows up above. And there's no light in them right now. So you, you might not be able to see that very well. But uh, once you get them lit up, they look really fantastic. Really nicely detailed uh, figurines inside. So those are some nice additions. And the last thing is over there steam locomotive and it is also a custom paint and we're gonna fire that 
baby up here right away. So let's duck under my lift out bridge, which is still not really a lift out bridge. We'll get there eventually. So this is a uh, Lionel locomotive that's been repainted. Um, I think it's from about circa 2008 or so. Um, but the detailing on it is absolutely gorgeous. It's scale. And um, I found a fellow who was selling his whole collection. He had just some amazing pieces. Um, I unfortunately could only afford to buy this locomotive and this one over here, which you can see has been weathered and he did some really nice, had some really nice painting done on that as well. So very happy to have those two pieces because as you can tell, Canadian National is kind of my thing. I like Canadian Pacific too. So let's do a little bit of train running here. I also have the zebra stripes. The, uh, these are F3s from Canadian National with uh, a really nice, I think those are 15 inch, they're the, uh, these are the Rail King passenger trains with the white and black color scheme. This is probably about like pre-dates me. Um, when I was little, there was already Via Rail, but uh, this would have been from like the late 60s, early 70s. And uh, it's a really sharp looking um, color scheme. So I've got eight cars on there and then we've got eight cars on the, with the green and black scheme behind the uh, steam locomotive. So let's uh, fire it up here. Give me a moment. So right now I'm still running everything with, um, with my DCS remote and uh, so far so good. So far, so good. I've got the uh, Lionel engines working as well. So here we go. A really nice, powerful whistle. And off we go. Yeah, so you can see how the dog bone falls along here. 
and you've got a reversing loop, and then those F3s are going to come out the other side of the tunnel there.